Let's take a look at the M&P 22 Compact. As far as your size goes, it is very comparable to the Ruger SR-22. Almost identical. Let's pan back over. It's very similar in size also to the M&P Shield with the extended 8-round magazine. I'm going to get these a little closer together so you can see them all side by side. The controls are all for a right-handed shooter except for the safety and it's uh, ambi. The magazine release can be switched to the other side as well. You have a threaded barrel, fully adjustable sights on the rear for windage and elevation. You also have a Picatinny rail where you can mount a kitchen sink or whatever you wanted to on it. It breaks down just like the standard M&P. Lock the slide back, push your lever down, slide comes off. I'll show you in a few minutes the ingenious recoil spring idea that they've come up with this when I break it down. But right now, the range is hot. I won't do a lot of shooting and show you how it performs. Let's take a few shots here. This custom painted Eddie Van Halen steel target. Let's see if we can hit anything. This gun is actually, the full size, scaled down 15%, and it's 15.3 ounces. Man, it is light as a feather, but recoil, even though it's a 22, I know, it's so easy to manage. All right, got one more magazine loaded. Let's get over here on Mr. Silhouette. Let's pop him real slow a few times, get used to the reset on this great trigger. What a little shooter, man. I've had it for about three weeks. I'm going on 500 rounds. Probably be done with that before the video's out. Had nothing but good luck with it. Let's shoot some more. It looks like we have a doe out in the distance. That's a fan of this gun, too. The magazines are, are very good magazines. I'm going to show you how easily they drop out of the gun. And how easy they snap back in. You don't have to hit them like you would on the SR per se. Two 10 round magazines come with it. And it also has a lock where you can lock it out for whatever reason you may need to do that. Okay everybody, I'm back here at 50 yards. Zoom in on the silhouette a little bit. See if we can hit anything. Okay, now to take it down, like I said, slide to the rear, take your lever to lift up on the rear, the slide comes right off. And check out this captured recoil spring, I really like a captured recoil spring in my 22s and any other gun.
but you have a notch there just slides into the frame and presto back in business magazine has these thing on the side of the follower to make loading it a breeze pull down on it makes a world of difference the Ruger's got those on it too I love them if y'all don't mind watching some more shooting it's what I'm gonna do it's what I bought the gun for blast the fire out of it bad to say about it. I know it's new and all new 22s it seem like have some type of issues in the inaugural run but so far with this one uh, almost 500 rounds I've had no problems whatsoever. I believe I want to shoot it some more. Well yeah and I almost forgot to show you the good sights on this handgun but Let's see them in a different way. Nice and bright. Really liking the trigger on this handgun. And it's great if you shoot from a reset. It says not to dry fire this weapon, so I'm going to do it with live ammo. Pointed in a safe direction at the target. I want you to see as I pull the trigger. I'm slowly going to let it reset. Here's the reset. That's it. Again. Got a few more small targets up here on the hill we can mark on. The reset on this trigger is awesome. One more magazine won't hurt now, will it? Final thoughts on this gun. Reliability has been a 10 plus. The accuracy is great. It's lightweight. It feels good in the hand. I love the adjustable sights. I like the sights themselves. I like the controls. For me, it's a winner. This is Albatross 497 telling you to exercise your rights.
get out there and shoot. 